Okay, guys, normally I do not do setup for games, um, but um, too much as a separate category. But I figured I'd let you guys see how you set up the board for Killer Bunny's board game. Okay, each planet, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, they're all going to stay at this location on the board to start with before the game starts. You're then going to roll this violet die for Earth. I rolled six, so it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So it's going to land back at the original orbit for for Earth. Um, then Mars. I rolled a one. So Mars is just going to go right here for this game. And last but not least, a 12-sided die for Jupiter. And I rolled a... So Jupiter is going to go here and then here. So this is where, so that's going to be where Jupiter goes, right down there. So each planet is going to be at a special spot on the board. Now next are your carrot markers. Now, carrot marks are what makes this game really long or really short, depending on how many you place. You figure... For each carrot you spend, you're you're looking at um, about you know maybe a half an hour to an hour, depending on how many. Because there's a lot of circumstances that determine um, where you're going to be at, <clears throat> and how you're going to get the carrot. So take that in mind. So I'd say if you got a limited amount of time, I'd say three or four carrots would be good. Um, for your first couple games until you get used to it. And if you get a lot of time, I'd say go all out. And so next, you're going to take this 10-sided green die that it came with the game, and you're going to roll this. And as long as it's 1 and 9, you're going to, you're going to keep that roll. If it's 10, you re-roll. So, carrots can go anywhere on the board except for where the logo is at on the board and stuff like that. There's pictures and logos. I rolled a three here. So I'm going to be in sector three. Next, you're going to roll a 12-sided die here. That's going to tell you what row of that sector three you're going to be putting your carrot at. And I rolled an eight. One, two, three, Okay, so 8 there, so I'm going to put my marker right there for now, just to keep it marked. That's what I do, because then that way you know it's going to be in that row. And then we're going to roll in the yellow again to determine how far out in that row you're going to put it. Two spaces, it's over. So, the second space, right there. So that's where the player is going to have to go to pick up, the, well, he's going to have to go on the, any of these adjacent spots to pick up the carrot. You don't have to go, you don't land on the spot to get the carrot, you just land on an adjacent spot. Back up. And we do the same thing with your other carrots. We're going to do two for you guys. So, because that's going to take a while. So sector four. Six. Six. And eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. And that's how you plan your all the important aspects of setting up the board. You're going to repeat this for each carrot marker. And that's all there is to setting up the board.